<laughs> the ducks are still in the video. <sighs> and I'm still in my hood, so it's no secret. No secret. We filmed a couple. <laughs> Uh, hey everybody, welcome back to Box Pop and Beauty. I am Michael. I'm Kendra. And today for you guys, we have a Primetime Signatures Autograph City Mystery Box Break Pull Show number 110. And you know that we only do the special shows, so we only do like the, the, one, the, the, the tens and the 25s. That's basically what we do basically basically what we do um this they did up their price a little bit but what they did when they upped their price is they added like a super hit um and i was going for that super hit in this show so this one uh the super spotlight item on this one was a dual signed 11 by 14 daisy ridley and adam driver from star wars there was also a dual signed christopher lloyd and charles fleischer from who framed roger rabbit uh, George Clooney 11 by 14, Hugh Jackman 11 by 14, and a De Armas 11 by 14. Those were the big hits in this show for show number 110. I was hoping for one of those. You got to gamble. They raised the price. The price is now 125. They've done it since show number 100. It went up 25. dollars um, Sometimes you got to gamble. And uh, yeah, let me show you guys how I did. Oh yeah, I forgot to do my thing. But yeah, I have to do it quieter because there's a baby sleeping. You better. So. I don't know what you're about to do. Hello, citizens of the Mystery Box Bunker, because you better be in there, because anybody who's in the city needs to be in the bunker, and if you're in the bunker, you better be in the city. So anyway, let me show you guys what I got. This is actually kind of a unique piece, and I'm still trying to decide what I want to do with it. I don't feel as it sits that it is necessarily worth what I spent. It is, is not worth the 125, but there's potential to make it worth more. Let me show you what I mean by that. They always pack really well. They put it into a, uh, a flat and then they put that into a priority mailbox. Charles and the gang know what they're doing with the shipping. I miss Charles. I haven't watched him in a long time. Yeah, he probably misses you too. So anyway, so we got a 11 by 14. It is Beckett authenticated. Um, we do have this person's autograph. We actually have it hanging up in our bedroom. It's one of the first autographs we ever got. Um, that being said... It's not particularly a rare autograph, but I have never seen it on this piece. I've seen it on a lot of other stuff. Kendall's gonna know exactly what I'm talking about when she sees it. Are you ready? So we have an 11 by 14 signed by Shelly Duvall. Now, when you get an 11 by 14 or any Shelly Duvall autograph, what's it from? Shining. Or Popeye. Oh. This is from Suburban Commando with uh, Hulk Hogan. Now this is, this is where I'm telling you guys I'm not sure what I wanna do. I could just sell it. I could cut my losses. I could sell I could sell this piece as a unique piece, a Shelley Duvall autograph on a Suburban Commando. Um, or I could send this out. I know that you can send to, I think the Hulk has a store and you can send to the store to add the Hulk's autograph to it. Or I could wait for the Hulk to do another signing. Um, I could add the Hulk to this and then that would make this a really, really cool dual sign piece. Where are they supposed to be in that photo? Outside or inside? I think they're inside their house. We have two ficus Benjamina. Oh boy, here she goes. It better be inside. What is that? A fern. What is this? Another fern. She would. She notices the, the plants in the photo. <laughs> um, so... Let me know what you guys think. What should I do? You think uh, $125, I'm already in $125 in it. Um, do you guys think I should see about adding Hulk to either keep it or, or flip it for more? Or do you guys think I should uh, cut my losses? Uh, let me know down below. Um, if you are somebody who is closer to the Hulk's store 
or has some kind of connections to the Hulk signing, let me know if you want to help out or let me know if this is a piece that you want to take, take over and finish up. Lots of options. That being said, obviously not everything in the, uh, the mystery boxes can be all the way to the $125 value. Just it's, you can't, you can't have a sustainable business that way. So unfortunately this was, this was probably a lower end but item. But it goes to show we don't always win. Yeah, I mean, but these are, like, super random, so I appreciate you trying to make that point, but... That's the point. It is random. These ones. Yeah. Yeah, like... Like, it's not rigged for us, like, obviously. No. That's what I'm saying. We've had some insane wins in Autograph City. Like I said, in a previous video, we pulled The Rock, which was the top hit. So we have pulled the top hit um, from, from Autograph City before, but this time, we didn't. I just realized that that's not who I thought it was. Who? The, the guy. The Hulk. Who did you think that was? I thought it was the guy who goes after um, people for... Dog? Warrants and stuff. Yeah. And I was thinking, oh man, his wife died. And I watched an interview with him and his new wife. And he just seems like he's totally lost his mind. And I was just in this whole other He got place. remarried? Yeah. I didn't know that. He married a lady who like wrote him a letter... When she heard that his wife died and they're like hyper Christian and maybe that he always was. I don't know, but they're just bizarre. Anyways, I was thinking that that's who that was. And I realized it's not. I don't really even know who that is except for he has a daughter, right? It's Hulk Hogan, yeah. Like his daughter's pretty famous too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what was that reaction? But it's Hulk Hogan. How do you not know who Hulk Hogan is? Haven't you seen that video, the really cute video that went viral of the kid? I'm pretty sure it was at his shop. The kid that walked in dresses hulk and started like yelling at oh, him yeah and he's like no you listen bro <laughs> yeah that was cute so um it'd be cool to meet hulk like i said if anybody's got any connections that watches the channel let me know um be cool to finish this up and make this a, a full piece um have you ever seen suburban commando never heard of it put it on the list this must be before the shining I don't know. Didn't she not really act after The Shining because it traumatized her? I mean, I know she, she's she's not the best uh, mental health wise. Alexa, when did Suburban Commando come out? The film Suburban Commando was released about 30 years ago on October 4th, 1991. Alexa, when did The Shining come out? The film adaptation was released on June 13th, 1980. So, wow, The Shining was 11 years before mm -hmm. this movie. So there you go. You learned something new. I guess she act after, acted after that. I didn't think she did. So 11 years. Anyway, everybody, go check out Autograph City. Make sure you're part of the Autograph City and the Mystery Box Bunker. And go check out one of the most entertaining people on Facebook sure. Live. I biggest fan right here. One of his biggest fans for sure. I've been trying I to love tell him. I've been trying to tell Charles that he needs to start signing his uh the white cowbells and just sending them out to his fans and that she she wants a charles autograph i really do so anyway go check them out we'll see you guys in the next video answer the questions below let me know what i need to do with this let me know if you want to take it over let me know if you want to help if you want to buy it if you want to trade for it let me know bye thanks for watching everybody make sure you like subscribe and hit that notification bell see you next time Boo!